What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Ascalon. I got Mrs. Ascalon here on another video with me. And today we're going to try, well, I guess it would be retry um, some drinks from our childhood. Yay. So. Clearly Canadian. Yes, clearly Canadian. Have you guys had it? If you haven't, then you're not the same age as us. <laughs> yeah. So these were really big in the 90s. Um, I used, I remember just going to the store and getting them whenever I was out shopping with like my mom um, at the grocery store. And it was always a treat because they were expensive and they still are. Yeah. I mean, like how much are they now? Um... I bought them at Kroger. I found them randomly the other day, and I was like, I have to have one of every flavor. Um, they were about $2.70 a bottle, and I remember them being about that expensive, you know, give or take inflation in the 90s, but they're a treat, and they're supposed to be. So. They're 11 fluid ounces, so $2 and something for 11 fluid ounces. Yep. So yeah, pretty pricey, but if you don't know what uh, Clearly Canadian is, um, it's sparkling water. It's a sparkling water beverage, and I think it's made out of real sugar. It has real cane sugar in it, and really, I mean, if you're going to have a sweet drink, it's only 90 calories a bottle, so if you want a treat, it's it's not that bad. It's not as bad as, uh, you know, a Coke, and I love Coke, I'm sorry, but it's not as bad as that, so yeah. And, and when you taste it, it just, it hit different, like my kids say. I mean... By the way, I'm a teacher, in case you haven't figured that out yet in my other videos. But it just, it hit different. It just, oh, it's, it's got carbonation in it, it so it's just It is very fizzy cool. and carbonated and delicious. Um, now, I will say we only have three flavors today. Um, we have country raspberry, wild cherry. Country raspberry. Wild cherry. And mountain blackberry. Now... What we are missing is Orchard Peach. They didn't have it at the Kroger where we live, uh, but I hope to see it soon. And back in the day, there was Loganberry also, but I don't I was about think they to say, I anymore. thought they had some more flavors uh, besides just like the three that we have, the peach. I think there were some more flavors. Yes. Um, and I also need to talk about my experience with this drink. <sighs> Betsy, I love you. Betsy was my best friend in elementary school, middle school, high school. We are still great friends to this day. We used to, back in the day, ride our bikes down to this convenience store called, called R&L, and we would buy these and drink them and then go ride our bikes on the Greenway all the time. It was such a treat. Like, we didn't always buy the same treats and snacks from R&L, but we always bought Clearly Canadian. And so as soon as I found these, she was one of the first people that I told, so. It's like candy to us, or some it's, ice cream. It's just nostalgia, it's special, it's special. So here we go, without further ado. Yeah, let's, Let go. let's get into it, let's Let try go. it. All right, so we're gonna start with Country Raspberry. So you, won't, I'll do the honors on this one, I guess. I'm so excited. Oh, you can hear the, the fizz, I don't know if it's that all, caught that. It's all frosty, and the bottle looks exactly the same as it did back in the day. I mean, the packaging is almost exactly the same. All right, so country raspberry. And then after we taste all three, which actually we kind of tasted one the other day Shut when up. she first got them uh, because we couldn't resist. Yeah. But this is one of the flavors we, we <laughs> didn't retry yet. So um, after we finish trying all three, we're going to let you guys know which one we feel it's is the, the best. best. Okay. And right. keeping in mind that Orchard Peach is not in the mix. Country raspberry. Go, Here we go. Go. Chug, chug, chug. Do it. Mm. It's pretty good. I love it. Like I said, it just oh, you can feel the the carbonation when it go, when it goes down. I'm surprised I didn't belch. Mm. Hope I don't burp on camera. I'm sorry, I had to have a second one. <laughs> mm, that That's how good they are. You, you can't just have. Wait, wait, hold on. I gotta mm. I gotta get one more of that one. Don't overload yourself. All right. <laughs> so that was country raspberry. Kind of. It was kind of smooth berry taste there. Very, it's raspberry-ish without tasting artificial. It tastes really good. Yeah, and it's not like overpowering either or strong like some berry drinks can be. And these are, by the way, these are sparkling waters. They are carbonated and um, they are sweet. So, But these are not too sweet, which I like. I don't like super, super sweet drinks. So. And they're made with all natural ingredients it's too. Like, so clearly, for those of you who... Clearly. <laughs> clearly Canadian. like Canadian. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, one, yeah. Okay. One of the yeah. best Canadian imports since hockey. All right. Or Celine Dion. Oh yeah, I forgot Just about kidding. her. Not All right, right, Wild Cherry. I'll All let right. you pop this one open. Wild Cherry. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, really? It's bubbling. I've had several people say that this is their favorite. I don't okay. remember it really, but that's okay. Yeah, I don't know if I had. I thought it was a strawberry one too, and I think I used to drink that one a lot. I don't think so. Or it might have been the raspberry mm. one. I can't remember. Mm. All right, say mm-hmm. something for me now. Mm-hmm. Say something for me. Mm-hmm. All right. That's it. So wild that cherry. That is it. That's yum. But I like cherry stuff. You don't typically yeah. like cherry stuff. Um, I can already start to figure out which one is going to be my favorite. But this one's still good, though. Mm, I like it. It's got a little uh, cherry aftertaste. Like, you don't really but taste not, the cherry. But not medicinal. It's, it's yummy. Yeah, you don't really taste the cherry as it's going down. And then when you swallow, then you taste the, you get the cherry there. So if you like cherry stuff, like you love like cherry Coke. So, Ooh, um, that is my favorite soda of all time. If anybody ever wants to send me cherry Cokes or <laughs> cherry Coke Zeros, I'll take them. I'll take a sun drop. <laughs> all right. Last one is... Mountain Blackberry. A lot of people have said this is their favorite as well. And this is the one we kind of cracked like open so. the other day already. Go for it, my friend. So we're going to try this one a third time, I guess. Oh, Ooh. that one might spill on me. All right, there we go. <laughs> that wow, that was close. Lovely. All right. It's like a volcano Blackberry there. Ooh, that one. This one tastes sweeter than the other two, I think. Okay, it will make you belch. I'm sorry. <laughs> little gassy. That's what I was afraid of doing. <laughs> mm. Oh, see, there we go. Mm. It's good stuff. Yeah. Mm. Wow, it's hard to pick a favorite because they all taste really good. They do taste really good. Mm. So good, so good. I'm sure if the peach was here, I'd probably pick that one. Yeah, that peach is a lot but of people's favorite. We don't have that favorite. one. All right, I'm put the cap back so on what them. Say you, what say you? All right, so I feel that this one is probably my favorite out of the three, the Mountain Blackberry, because like I said, it's uh, it's sweeter than the other two. I feel like it's smoother than the raspberry. So, And it's kind of weird because I don't like blackberries in general. Like, I will no, eat them if I, I have to. He will to. not eat blackberries, blackberry cobbler. If I buy them, he won't eat them. I'll eat it if I have to, but um, I don't really care for it. But obviously, bottled with Clearly Canadian, I, I like the blackberry. So that one's probably my favorite. Uh, raspberry is probably second, the country raspberry. And then wild cherry is the third. Just because it's got too strong of a cherry aftertaste for me. Okay. I'm going to need to taste these two once again. <laughs> go for it. Okay, here we go. I'm tasting the wild cherry again. Like watching her take a sip, it's like somebody stole something from me. And I'm like, <laughs> like when you're a kid and he a hates, sibling takes a toy. <laughs> he hates to share his food with me. He hates it. But I'm, I'm, my family does that. So well, I'm just like staring. I'm like, oh, I want some more. <laughs> or I want that back. All right. So what say you? Um, I love all three of them, so I hate to even rank them because I don't want people to say, oh, well, I want to try that one. They're all delicious. I think my favorite is the Country Raspberry. Country the raspberry? first one we tried. Okay. Then the Wild Cherry, then the Blackberry. But I love the Blackberry, too. I mean, it's good. I'm Again, I think if we had the Orchard Peach or the Loganberry from back in the day, one of those would probably be my favorite. But they're all delicious. If you see these in your supermarket, please try them. Yes. They are delicious. And the more that people buy them, the more they'll, that they will produce them. And we can keep having them. And if you don't have a Kroger in your area, <laughs> I do know, um, like in Birmingham, Alabama, which is a couple hours away from us, um, they have a World Market. I think that's what it's called. They, and they, they carry them, them there. at World Market um, in Texas. They sell them at World Market other places. And you can get them online, too, from World Market. Because yes. um, I was originally going to order, and I think they have peach on there. I was originally going to yes, order from I think World they Market. they have peach there, yes. And, uh, but then I forgot about it, and then she found these at Kroger the other day, and so Yay. then we ended up having them. So I'm hoping Kroger maybe will get more flavors in so we can buy them locally. But I may I'm have to. I'm happy with these three, though. I mean, ha- I'm happy. We may have to make another video later where we crack open a peach one. 
Maybe. <laughs> I don't. I think Loganberry is put to pasture, but I have fond memories of it because that was the very first one I ever tried. Yeah, I can't remember if the Loganberry one was on the, the World Market um, website. Probably not. All right, so clearly Canadian. We're not we're not endorsed by clearly Oops, Canadian. <laughs> we're not endorsed by clearly Canadian at all. No, this is a total '90s kid. Like, try what we used Nostalgia. to drink. Everybody I have talked to on social media or anything remembers these fondly. Nobody has said Wait, that they a, were bad. A a okay. One too. Nobody has said that they're bad. Everybody says I used to love those. So go try them. Okay. They're not sh like totally. Have a ton of sugar in them or anything, but they're delicious. All right. You well, had to beat me one more. Uh, I had to get one more. You took like two more of the other ones. All right. So that's all the time we got for this video. It's your boy Ascalon, Mrs. Ascalon here. Um, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. We got some other videos that are in the works um, that we will be recording soon. Some more Disney video stuff. Woo so can't wait to share that with you guys. All right. Hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Love you. God bless you.